Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. Hi, I am Suraya Said, Microsoft Certified Trainer. You don't have to adjust every Excel workbook to meet your needs. By changing a few settings, you can make all your workbooks automatically fit to your preferences. If you find yourself changing the same attribute every time you create a new workbook, consider changing them at the program. Excel will generate each new workbook just the way you like it. To access to these customizable options, click the File tab on the ribbon. The backstage view is opened. Click Options. Excel Options dialog box is open. You can see at the left pane, options are divided into categories. The General tab allows you to personalize your work environment with the menu toolbar, color scheme, default options for a new workbook. And the Formula tab allows you to modify calculations options working with formulas, error check-ins, and error rules. The Proofing tab allows you to personalize how Excel corrects and formats your text. You can customize auto-correcting settings or to ignore certain words. The Save tab allows you to personalize how your workbook is saved. You can specify how often you want to auto-save and where you want the workbook saved. The Advanced tab allows you to specify options for editing, copying, pasting, printing, displaying, formulas, calculations, and general settings. The following settings are some of the more common ones that users customize. Changing the default file location, the default number of sheets, the default font and default size, the default file format. When creating a new workbook and when you try to save it for the first time, the default file location for saving is the My Documents. Each time you try to save a new workbook, it will open the Save As dialog box and ask you to save in My Documents. And in fact, it is not where I want my files to be saved. I want Excel to take me to another folder each time I will save. It is easy to change the default save as location. Click the File tab. The Backstage view opens. Click Options. Excel Options dialog box is open. In the left pane, choose Save. Under Save Workbooks section, change the path in the default file location field. You can type the path you want. For example, instead of My Documents, I will type the path of Partition E to be the default location for saving Excel files. Click OK and let's see. If we save our new workbook, the Save As dialog box opens and it will save the file in Partition E. And of course, if you want to change this location anytime, you can do. But really, customizing default file location will save your time. Another thing we can change is the number of sheets in a new workbook. By default, each new Excel workbook begins life with three worksheets. 
You can of course add more sheets to workbook or delete sheets you don't need. And the unused sheets doesn't occupy additional memory or increase the file size. But I don't like them in my workbook. A better approach is to change the default number of worksheets by entering to the Excel options from the File tab, clicking Options. In the General tab, when creating new workbook section, include these many sheets. We can set the number of worksheets to one. That makes any new workbook will start live with only one sheet. Also, we can change the font, the default font and the default font size used in typing inside our worksheet. We can choose a legerin and a font size of 26 and we can change the default view for new sheets to be page layout view instead of the normal view. Excel asks you to quit and restart Microsoft Excel again. Close the program. When we start a new workbook, we notice that it starts in the page layout view, but we can navigate to the normal view. When we start to type, we find ourselves typing with Algerian font and the font size is 26 and it is also shown in the list of types on the ribbon. Let's undo this customization and you should close the program and restart it again to see that modification reflected on your workbook. Also, we can change the default file format. We can make it an earlier version. So, anytime we start a new workbook, it will be in the compatibility mode. That means it is an earlier version 1. Also, we can change the direction of the sheet from the Advanced tab under the Partition of Display. The default direction of the sheet is from left to right, but we can make it from right to left if you are working in Arabic. To see the result, close the program and reopen it. We can notice that our sheet starts from the right, column A at the right, And to cancel this, we launch again to Excel options. On the Advanced tab, in the Display section, recheck left to right and click OK. Don't forget to restart the program again to see the result. Yes, we did. Thank you for watching Edubedia World Videos. See you at the next video.